Find index is an array method in JavaScript. The find index method is used to return the index of the first element in the array that meets a specific criteria. Please note that the first element of an array has an index of 0, the second has an index of 1, and so on. This will be important for understanding the index value that find index returns. To illustrate how the find index method works, let's look at a few examples. Before we get started, we'll just point out that we are declaring this window variable because we are executing the JavaScript code using node.js for the purposes of this tutorial, and are not running the JavaScript code within a web browser such as Chrome. We'll start by declaring an array object called TOTN array that has five elements, negative 10, negative 5, 0, 5, and 10. Next, we'll create a callback function called greater than zero that will be used by the find index method. It takes one parameter called TOTN element. It is within this function that we will test whether TOTN element is greater than zero. We'll write the output of the find index method to the console log. We will then invoke the find index method of the TOTN array variable to test each element value using the greater than zero callback function. Now let's execute our JavaScript code to see what results we get. In this example, the find index method has returned the value 3. Since the first element in the array has an index of 0, a value of 3 represents the fourth element in the array. The value at index 3 of the array is 5, and is the first value that meets our criteria of being greater than 0. Next, let's look at one more example that uses the optional parameter called this parameter. In this example, we will declare an array object called TOTN array that has four elements, tech, on, the, and net. But this time we will also declare a second variable with a string value of the element being tested is. We'll use this variable as the this parameter when we invoke the find index method. Next, we will create a callback function called contains n char that will be used by the find index method. Similar to the previous example, it takes one parameter called TOTN element. Within the callback function, we'll write the value of this variable followed by the value of TOTN element. We will discuss the this variable later in this tutorial. Next, we will test whether the TOTN element contains the letter n. To do this, we will use a string method called index of. Index of returns the location of a substring within a string and if it doesn't find a match, it will return negative 1. And finally, we'll call the find index method on the TOTN array, providing the callback function as the first parameter and to this parameter variable as the second parameter. The results of the find index method will be displayed in the console log. It is important to note that the this parameter value will be made available within the callback function as the this variable. Now let's see what our JavaScript code returns. Since the first element in the TOTN array is tech, we will see the message, the element being tested is tech, displayed in the console log. Tech does not contain the letter n, so the callback function evaluates to false and the next element is tested. When the second element, which has a value of on, is evaluated by the callback function, the letter n is found. Since on contains the letter n, the callback function will return true. Since the callback function returned true, find index will not process the remaining elements and will instead return the current element index, which in this case will be 1. This is why we will see a 1 in the console log output. This covers a few basic examples of how to use the find index array method in JavaScript. If you found our tutorial helpful, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great JavaScript tutorials.